If you are considering moving to Boston's North End, you are in for a treat because it is a lot of fun and I speak from personal experience. So let's talk about what the North End has to offer as far as living in Boston, stuff to do, and just what that lifestyle looks like. Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. Real quick, if you're someone who is moving to Boston, relocating to this beautiful city, or you're coming here for the first time, whatever it is, if you are looking to buy or looking to sign a lease and you would like help with that process, I am a real estate advisor, so please, by all means, give me a call, send me a text, or send me an email if you would like help with that process. Let's get that conversation started so we can get you here to Boston. My favorite part of my job is being able to share this beautiful city with my YouTube viewers. I get reach outs all the time from my YouTube viewers who are coming to Boston, sometimes for the first time ever, to move to this city and being able to share this is what I love. So without further ado, jumping right into this video, the North End, fun part of town, it is beautiful, it is historic, and you will love it if you live here. I speak from personal experience. I feel like I say that about a lot of things in Boston on this channel, but I literally live in the North End right now at the time of filming this video. I moved here a little bit ago, so trust me, I know all about it. I know what it's like to live in the North End, the good and the not so good that comes along with that, so let's talk about it. Right off the bat, the North End, beautiful, charming, very historic part of Boston. That's what you gotta know about it. It is the oldest part of Boston. There is a lot of Boston history in this part of town. Known for its great food, restaurants, bakeries, and pastry shops, the North End is also right next to downtown Boston and right next to the West End. So as far as that convenience factor and being in the middle of everything going on, it does not get better than living in the North End. So you go from that beautiful city skyline in downtown and views of the modern buildings in the West End, you cross over the Rose Kennedy Greenway, which is a long strip of outdoor space that basically separates the North End from the West End and downtown to the North End. You cross over, you're in the North End, you know, quaint streets, restaurants, shops, brick buildings that will make you feel like you're walking through the streets of Europe. Not even kidding, you cross that greenway and you walk down Hanover Street, which is the main road going through the middle of North End. You got charming shops, restaurants, boutique stores. You feel like you're walking through Europe. And in a way you are, because you're going through Little Italy in Boston. Great atmosphere, charming, and very historic background in the North End. And you know, again, like I mentioned, a big draw of the North End is really that convenience and that prime location. You're next to the financial district, you're next to downtown, you're next to the West End. You know, North End is pretty much like right in the middle of everything going on. So it's great for entertainment, great if you're someone working in downtown or the financial district, the North End is such a great location. Now, the one thing with North End, it's very touristy, draws a lot of tourists to the area for the history, the food, the restaurants, the bars, and of course, I knew that before I moved here, but obviously it's different now that I live here full time in the North End, you know, when I'm walking around trying to get from one place to another in the North End, lots of tourists are outside. The sidewalks are pretty narrow in some places. People are always outside standing in line to get into a restaurant or waiting for reservations. Definitely, you know, in the evenings and especially on the weekends, it does get pretty packed. Now with the tourism aspect, there are some pretty fun tourist attractions in the North End. One of my favorites, the Skinny House. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a four story house, the narrowest house in Boston, and it actually just sold a couple months ago in September. Sold for $1.2 million. I did not get to see it, unfortunately, but I saw it on the market and um, it actually just closed last fall, which is pretty funny. If you're a big history buff, you will especially love the North End. You should definitely check out the Freedom Trail, which is basically a two and a half mile walk through the most historic points in Boston. Another part is North Square, one of the most photographed parts of Boston, same as Acorn Street. Very photogenic, one of the most picturesque places in the North End. And you've also got the Paul Revere House that is right there in North Square. Again, lots of history. If you are someone who enjoys reading up on history, you will love the North End and everything you can learn about both the history of Boston and the country. So it is a really cool area. Now, of course, if you're coming to the North End, you're living in Little Italy. There is a very Italian American culture and history in the North End. Food is a big deal here. Lots of Italian restaurants, bars, pastry shops, 
markets. Great place to buy stuff like wine, cheese, meats, pastries. I think it's a great place to go buy gifts if you're going to a house party or anything like that. They got some great food there if you like entertaining. Love the markets. The Boston Public Market is one of the biggest ones. I personally love it. It's a great atmosphere. You should definitely check it out if you're in the North End or just walking around. There's a lot that I love about living in the North End. The community, the culture, the lifestyle, just the beauty overall. You know, when I get up every morning, go down the street, I walk down Hanover, it's beautiful. Very quiet, I will say the mornings are much quieter than the evenings in the North End, so you get that peace and quiet in the mornings if you live in the North End. Now, as far as actually living in the North End, whether you're buying or renting, what is that like? So like I said, it is an old part of town. The North End is very historic, so with that, you have a lot of old buildings that are in the North End. Now, you do have some newer developed options and some rehabbed and converted places in the North End, but overall, a lot of the buildings tend to be older. So with that, if you're gonna be likely living in an older you know, brick building, keep in mind what might come along with that. Creaky floors, might not have AC, potentially outdated electrical system, narrow stairwells, especially for moving furniture in and out, it can be a struggle. So keep that in mind, the North End is very historic, older buildings, so not a ton of brand new stuff in the North End. So overall, older buildings, older units, they will have that historic charm and character because this is not one of the newer parts of town. It is the opposite. It is one of the oldest parts of Boston. So with that, you have these old historic buildings and this is not an area like Seaport where everything you see is brand spanking new. Another thing about the North End is that it's not really ridiculous as far as prices go. So unlike an area like Back Bay, Beacon Hill, or Seaport, the North End isn't really known for expensive prices, so they're not really one of the, the uber expensive places of Boston. As far as prices for condos in the North End, nothing really above that $3 million price point. A lot of the more luxury and higher priced options will be some of these lofts and rehabbed condos along the waterfront. So you have some wharfs right next to the North End along the water, that ocean view. Those are the ones that kind of have the highest price tag in the North End. So the North End absolutely has that historic charm if that's something you want. There are some struggles with the fact that the North End is an older part of town. The streets in the North End can be confusing and a little bit frustrating. You have very narrow roads. A lot of them only go one direction. So if you're trying to navigate around and you miss your turn, you might be going in circle after circle trying to get back to where you were because a lot of these streets only go one direction. Parking can sometimes be a pain even if you have a resident parking sticker, especially if you live on or near one of the busier roads like Hanover, that's where I am. Hanover is the main road going through. It's busy, it's tough to find parking that is you know, somewhat close to me sometimes. So if you are parking during one of the busy hours, you might find yourself parking all the way down the street or several blocks over just because you couldn't find a parking spot. And if you're driving through the North End, particularly on Hanover Street, and like I said, Hanover is one of the main roads, that's where you have all these restaurants and shops in the North End. With that, these restaurants get a lot of deliveries for food and produce, and since there is no parking or limited parking for these big trucks, they will park in the middle of the road, so you gotta get around them and wait for oncoming traffic to stop to let you around these trucks if you're driving down Hanover or trying to get around the North End that can be frustrating as well that I've noticed since living here now. And if you're gonna be living in the North End, trash gets picked up two days a week, you put it on the sidewalk, make sure you do it the correct way. Otherwise, you will get served a $25 ticket for a trash violation if you don't do this the right way. That happened to me my first day in the North End. You would think that of all people, the realtor would know how to put trash out on the street within the neighborhood he's in. I did not. I got fined. I didn't put it out the right way. So that was a learning lesson my first day living in the North End. So I got fined my first day, my first day moving into the North End for putting cardboard boxes out incorrectly on the streets. So if you live in North End, be sure to put your trash out on the correct days. And if you're doing that, put your trash in appropriate trash bags. Any recycling has to be in clear plastic bags and any cardboard boxes have to be empty, broken down and laid out completely flat on the sidewalk. That's where I went wrong. I had some cardboard boxes that were full and were not, not broken down all the way. So they were full and they were still intact cardboard boxes. So 
Boston gave me a nice $25 ticket because they did that incorrectly. Aside from that, I am enjoying it so far and I love living in the North End. So if you are moving to the North End or considering any other area in Boston and you would like help with that process, buying or renting, please give me a call, shoot me a text, or shoot me an email if I can do anything to support you in this crazy real estate market. Again, I am a real estate advisor and love the reach outs that I get through my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video right here on the Living Boston channel.